So in this video, we are going to continue to solve more problems based on trigonometric ratios of compound angles. All right, so here we've got the question which reads like this. If cos A equals 4 by 5 and cos B equals 12 by 13, such that the angles A and B, A and B is uh, greater than 3 pi by 2, which is 270 degrees, but lesser than 2 pi, which is 360 degrees. So you can see that A comma B, they are greater than 270 degrees and less than 360 degrees fourth quadrant here so we've already got the values of cos a cos b we need the values of sine a sine b to find the values of these right so since it lies in the fourth quadrant sine a and sine b are going to be negative because sine is negative in the fourth quadrant sines positives are the second and the first quadrant so now since we've already got cos let's find sine by using this identity sine square a plus cos square a is going to be equal to one so sine a will be equal to minus of square root of 1 minus cos square a. Minus because sine a lies in the fourth quadrant. So sine a equals minus of square root of 1 minus cos a is 4 by 5, cos square a is 16 by 25. Solving this, you get sine a to be equal, a, equal to minus 3 by 5. And let's find sine b now. So sine square b plus cos square b is equal to 1. So sine b equal to minus of square root of 1 minus cos square b. So sine b equals minus of root of 1 minus cos b is 12 by 13. So that 144 by 169. Solving this, you get minus 5 by 13. So what we've done here is we've found the values of sine a and sine b this is sine a this is sine b now all we have to do is just substitute the values as simple as that so what is cos of a plus b so all that we have to do is just substitute the values so, so what is cos of a plus b cos of a plus b is cos a cos b minus sine a sine b right so what is cos a cos a is uh, 4 by 5 times cos b is uh, 12 by 13 and minus sine a is uh, minus of 3 by 5 and sine b is minus of 5 by 13 so on solving this you get 33 divided by 65 so therefore cos of a plus b is 33 divided by 65 all right so let's solve the next one which is sine of a minus b so sine of a minus b is nothing but sine a cos b minus cos a sine b right so sine a is nothing but minus 3 by 5 cos b is nothing but 12 by 13 Minus cos A is 4 by 5. Sine B is minus of 5 by 13. So again, solving this, you get negative 16 by 65. So therefore, sine of A minus B, in this case, it is equal to minus 16 by 65. So that ends this problem as well as this video. A very simple problem, not very complicated. All you have to do, just identify where these lie lies in the fourth quadrant so by now you need to be familiar with what happens in the fourth quadrant for every trigonometric ratio cos is positive and sine is negative so that's what has led to these answers and that concludes this video so i'll see you in the fourth point videos with more problems based on trigonometric ratios of compound angles